guys, this is the Bearded Guitarist. Welcome to this new video of this R&B and Neo Soul acoustic guitar series. So today we'll be learning how we can play a rhythm part going from something like this you know, with strumming that everybody can play into something more R&B like Okay, like I was playing in the intro of this video. Okay, so we'll be learning the cliches of this uh, R&B way of playing our pages on guitar finger picking. Before we get started, if this is your first time on the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any other video like this one. And follow me on Instagram where I do a lot of live streamings, uh, even on R&B guitar. Right, so this is a lesson for intermediate players, but we'll try to keep it as simple as possible so that anybody can follow it. Um, and the goal of this lesson is learning the embellishments that I was playing in the intro of this video. So basically all of the hammer-ons and pull-offs that I was doing with my little finger. Okay, so let's get started from the chord progression, which was just E flat major 7, going to C minor 7, then D minus 7 and G minus 7. So only four chords needed. Now, the way I was suggesting to play this is rather than going from the E flat major 7 to the C minus 7, you know, strumming it, I was playing something more like an arpeggio 4 note where the last one on the B string was with a hammer on so that I was going from the ninth of the chord to the major 3rd. Doing this kind of hammer on with my little finger so that the melody goes this way, okay? All right. Now, um, there are several ways of playing this uh, in terms of pattern, in terms of finger picking. So you can do that in a more classical way, which is with thumb, index, middle and ring, okay? Using the ring finger on the B string playing the hammer on. Or you can do just a uh, thumb, 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 and maybe index for the B string where you've got the hammer on. That's completely up to you guys. There are no rules about it. It's just what you feel uh, more comfortable. It's just important that you give feel to what you're playing, okay? So that it doesn't sound like just like that, but Okay, you want to tell a story, you want to support the vocals, um, you want to make sure that if you're playing this with a singer, uh, you've got a solid background from your guitar, which is a percussive instrument, as much as you can. Right, so on the first chord I was doing this hammer on on the second string, on the B string, then I was moving to my um, C minor 7, and here I was doing another hammer on, this time starting without the second finger in your C minor 7 shape and hammering it on so that you can hear the ninth of this chord as well going to the minor third. Okay, now although the D minor seven, which is the next chord coming up, uh, has the same shape as the C minor seven, you can't do the same type of embellishment. You couldn't do this because this would be out of key. We'll see the harmony in a minute, but we can already say that the D minor seven represents the minor five in the key. And this is a chord that doesn't have the major nine, so you can't do this kind of embellishment that we were doing on the C minor seven, okay? Remember this, every time you play the five minor, you can't do this. You will have to do this thing, which is a different embellishment, still on the B string, okay? But you go from the minor third to the perfect fourth. So you basically get a D minor 11 really, okay? Okay, so while on the C minor 7 I was doing this, on the C, on the D minor 7 I was doing, then I was going to the G minor 7 and on the G minor 7 I was playing this kind of embellishment again, going from the root to the uh, major 9th, okay? So that you effectively play a G minor 9. So, doing a recap of the embellishments I was playing on the second string here, this, then again on the second string, different embellishment here but still on the second string, and then on the first string. Okay, now obviously if you watch back the intro of this video, I wasn't playing all of these embellishments every time, especially on the first degree. I was focusing more on the embellishment here, here, and here. Okay, and probably the last time the only variation I played was the G minor 7 um, in a different position, so up here, doing the same uh, embellishment that I was playing on the C minor 7, so this kind of thing, okay? 
where you do the hammer on between the 10th and the 11th fret of the B string with your second finger and then after that I was just playing a diminished chord to finish this diminished chord okay we explained that in the episode 2 of this series so you can uh, go back and watch it if you haven't yet will be just the upper part okay of the chord that I play uh, to go to the first chord that I'm playing which is the E flat major 7 okay the E flat major 7 would have a secondary dominant which is B flat 7 if I play this chord with the flat 9 I'm basically talking about the B diminished 7th or G sharp diminished 7th which is the same thing because this is a symmetric chord and uh, this chord would be the secondary dominant to go back to E flat major 7. If you're not familiar with that guys check the second episode of this series I explain how to use the diminished 7th chords uh, in these kind of progressions. So yeah this is a good way for intermediate players but also for beginners to get started with the sound of the hammer-ons okay getting familiar with the arpeggio patterns that you play the feel that you want to give rather than you know strumming the chords which is yeah it's nice but it's not as which is more what happens in R&B guitar, R&B acoustic guitar, okay? So guys, I hope this lesson helps. If you did enjoy it, please uh, like this video and share it with your family and friends. This would really help me. And also again, if this is your first time around, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any other video and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm planning on doing more of these R&B acoustic guitar videos. So if you want to see more, if you're interested in this style, please leave a comment and let me know that so that we'll create more of these these lessons. If you haven't watched the first two episodes uh, of this series make sure to do so so that you can practice even more uh, acoustic R&B chord progressions. Uh, in the meantime thanks a lot for watching this video guys again this is the Bearded Guitarist and I will be seeing you next week.